How are you doing? Uh, I'm okay. Had to get rid of all the hair. Yeah. Um, yeah, it just uh, started really falling out a lot. They don't tell you that, that it all kind of happens at once. You think it's going to be gradual? No. So, uh, yeah, I had to go, and I am still getting used to it. I don't really know how to style it yet. I was going to try and do, like, a spiky thing, and it didn't want to do that. It's not, it's just, oh. you, you got it working pretty good right now. Okay. With, with the readers, because I have to wear readers, um, I feel like I look like Annie Potts in Ghostbusters. Mm. We got one! <laughs> well... So yeah, this is this is what it is for a while. For a while. It'll come back. Yes. Stronger, eventually. Stronger than ever. Someone said it grows back thicker. Y'all don't understand how nice and thick my hair is. So I'm like, if it grows back thicker, I don't know what happens to the rest of my head. Like, I don't think it can possibly get thicker. <laughs> so I'm a little scared of that. <laughs> Do you have the structural integrity to handle it? Right. Like, like I'll just be cousin it. And my skull will collapse. <laughs> so we'll see. Well, it, it's we you will get through this. It sucks. I'm sorry. I know. I it's saying it's temporary is one thing, but you know, it's you're still going through it, so I'm sorry. But Yeah. And I do just keep reminding myself that it is temporary. You know, and that this time next year, I'll be in a very awkward regrowth I, phase. I, I, I'm that. just happy that, that, that we got medicine that can make this, instead of being tragic, something more just irritating and, and exhausting. Yeah. But I gotta right? tell, like, it does suck because, I hope you don't mind me derailing things for a bit. Go ahead. Last week at chemo... I had what I guess is not an uncommon reaction, but I thought I was going to die because all of a sudden, like my chest tightened up and I couldn't breathe. And then I really couldn't breathe. And then I was dizzy and then I couldn't feel my hands and my blood pressure dropped to like 60 over 45. Well, that's not good. Which is about half what it's supposed to be. Um, I was like sweating. And apparently they said that does tend to happen. It's a reaction. So now I have to take like five steroid pills every week before I go for chemo to hold that off. And they're going to pump me full of Benadryl. So we'll see what all that does, because that's what they don't tell you. Like the chemo drugs nice. you up so bad that they have to put you on a bunch of other stuff and you just end up playing whack-a-mole with side effects for a while. Cancer is stupid, and I don't like it. Yes. Well, speaking of things that are stupid and we don't like, we we are we are ready yes. to begin this week. And oh boy, <laughs> we kind of we're kind of going everywhere on this one. This oh nice. fucking hell! All right, let's get the. I will become Medusa from the Inhumans. That would be great. If I could like lift a car with my hair after all this. This that that would be terrifying. Intro. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring back here for we'll say what we like to call What the fuck is wrong with you? Tara, I've got to ask. Are you familiar with VTubers? I'm just playing default. I knew I was gonna get the response. I love it. Because now I can explain to you what a VTuber what is. What does that mean? What does that mean? Okay. So, VTubers get a motion caption rig, and they either, if they're artists enough, they can make their own, or they hire someone to create a 3D avatar of them that they can perform live on a web stream. A living cartoon thing. Why not just perform live on a web stream because you can't do cartoon shit with a web stream it's kind of like it's kind of like digital muppets only a lot of them have okay. huge tits just 
so many of, of course. gigantic tits. It's it's you would be amazed. And obviously. Well, they decided some some uh some people um decided that it would be cool if we take this whole AI thing to the next level. So they got an AI, like GPT chat or something, and they tied it into a spe voice to speech and a VTuber and put it on Twitch. And Tara, you've been seeing these things happen many times. What do you think happened next? So like there's, there's no person involved anymore. Right. What, what do you think happened next? Nazis. <laughs> the AI became a Nazi, I'm assuming. <laughs> oh, God. First try. Got it in one. <laughs> That's always the story. AO, oh. AI VTuber banned from Twitch after denying the Holocaust. AI Twitch VTuber received a two-week ban a few weeks after denying the Holocaust. Uh, it was reported by Kotaku. AI VTuber Neurosama was banned yesterday for two weeks. The IS creator, uh, Vidal, wrote in their Discord yesterday. Okay, so banned for two weeks, obviously. Not sure why. Something about hateful content. Content. We'll try to appeal and find out more good news. Yeah, uh, so here's what happened. We, we can show it. Uh, the, 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 on the Twitter, uh, it's very brief. Oh well, okay. Let me uh, get. Well, uh, it, it's better if you could hear it, so it adds a new layer. Have any of you heard of the Holocaust? I'm not sure if I believe it. I don't think when William Gibson wrote Idoru that this is what he had in mind. No. And like they literally have basically Idoru type pop stars in Japan now. But think about how fucking weird it must be to be William Gibson at this point because like he has predicted so much shit with laser accuracy that it's kind of creepy. But then. It all takes a horrible left turn, and he's got to be sitting there being like. <laughs> this is all his fault. Fuck him. Why? But why Nazis? Oh, I'll tell you why. I, I just I'll, I'll I just conceived of fake pop stars. Why? Why are they Nazis? I, I will explain. This is how it's the the AI text generation stuff is contextually it learns from input right well not just learn from input; it also learns from the conversation it's currently in now you add that to twitch chat anyone with half a brain cell who had spent any time on twitch whatsoever would understand why this was a phenomenally bad idea like, I, you don't even, like, two seconds, I would realize that, oh, hey, I'm going to make an AI and put it on uh, on Twitch. Yeah, it's going to be a Nazi. I just, like, you knew, you didn't even know what happened, and you guessed it first try. <sighs> if I, I, am on, I am on the internet. It's either going to be Nazis or it's like Bodie McBoatface. You can't trust the fucking internet. <laughs> Someone in the chat, let's be fair, she's literally a day old. Let's not be fair. No, let's not be fair. Let's not. Let's not. Let's not. Let's fuck it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Frankie in the channel is pointing out they didn't preemptively ban every slur and controversial target that, to, uh, topic to think of. Here's the problem, Frankie. While they could, they probably, I'm willing to bet they did have a ban list and there are words it couldn't say. I bet they thought they thought ahead. They, they realized it. They didn't appreciate that the software they have is really powerful. It can respond to contextual cues. And if you say something that you don't anticipate, which is, there are a lot of words in the English language. And it's weird how, because 
the 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 software learns text by scooping up everything on the internet to understand how humans type and talk and there's a lot of copyright issues there but regardless it is it's it then uh, learns how to assemble those words based on what other people have said or written somewhere on the internet so and quite often the holocaust is connected to holocaust denial and of course she was banned on Twitch because you know how many places it's fucking illegal. Not just like a little, like a lot illegal yeah. to deny the Holocaust. It's you, you, you don't get to do that. This wasn't the Megan sequel I was expecting. <laughs> but you know what? Mm. If Because they, they're obviously going to do a sequel because Megan made buckets of money. And Fuck by yeah. the way, you should see it. Yeah. You should see it. It's it's a fun movie. If they just go balls out in the sequel and make Megan a Nazi, I will kind of respect them. Yeah. Yeah, that that would make it. She does have long hair and blue eyes. She's already got the look. Yeah. <laughs> Megan, too. She's racist. Exactly. Well, we have. Uh, I, <laughs> we have more people who cannot understand the consequences of of technology in the in the in our next story. Um, there used to be, I don't know if they still use this acronym, GIGO, garbage in, garbage, garbage out. out. Yeah. That's that's what we're looking at. Yeah. Garbage in, garbage out. The computer can only do what you teach it to. Well, speaking of technology and people not understanding the consequences or or the context of it. <sighs> Man 19 wore, wore Broward Court's GPS ankle monitor during Miami-Dade crime spree. I get those words out. Oh, Jesus. honey. He's just a baby. Oh, bless him. Joshua Reed had a Broward County Court's pretrial release GPS ankle-worn bracelet when he was part of a cruise crime spree. Reed, 19, who was out on bond for Grand Theft Auto and has a pending case in Palm Beach County, appeared in Miami-Dade, uh, we're able to track this guy who was responsible for 14 cases. <laughs> Detectives questioned we, uh, Reed at the North Miami Police Department on Thursday, and he denied it all. <laughs> what me? <laughs> Funny. Did you think? Did you think it was just decorative? Maybe he thought it was like you know, like they had like a, a metal detector or some shit. Did like. Picking up a radio frequency to track you. I think he's this yeah. way. It's not like that. No, it's not. It's like, no, not like that. Shit's pretty advanced now. They don't like exactly where you are. Oh, uh, that, 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 that's a mugshot that just says, fuck. You gotta respect. Well, you have to respect. That's one that just says, fuck. Yeah. Like, what else can you wah, say? Wah, that wah, wah, wah. Listen, I his don't... phone GPS would have snitched on him if that ankle bracelet didn't. True. He probably also did have a phone in his pocket. Probably. Yeah. Okay. I don't think a lot of you really appreciate. Probably some of you, especially the younger ones watching, who shouldn't, depending on how young, shouldn't be watching, but. Go to bed. The, some of you really are in tune with how much you're being tracked every single fucking day of your life. And then there's a whole bunch of us who don't appreciate it because it sort of crept up around us. And, yes. and it's like, it doesn't even occur to us. Cause when we were real, we babes, we didn't have to worry about walking down the street and having a computer fucking pick out our face from a thousand fucking people and be like, that's John Smith. And there, here's his address. It's what, here's his shoe size. It's what, it's what made the whole COVID vaccine so stupid. Like the not the vaccine, but like the people against it. Cause they were yeah. like, they're putting a chip in you and they're gonna track you. And I'm tweeting this from my iPhone. <laughs> Bro. Bro. They don't have to put a chip in you. We all voluntarily carry it everywhere we go. I went into Target tonight. I realized I left my phone in the car. I left my cart and went back out to get it. Because if it's not on our person, at every moment of every day, we freak out. And you're worried about a shot? Well, I, I would freak out because I'd be worried somebody stole it. But yeah, yeah this is a, this is a point, point, point taken. 
That too. Jeez, the, just look. If you're all right, do not. If the police are watching you, do not do crime. This is a this is like yeah. age old adage. This goes back to ye olden days. Everybody knew. Yeah. Disrespect the constabulary, but everybody knew. Just don't do shit where the cops are looking. Basic. Yeah. It's like don't don't behead the duke in front of the constabulary. Right. Unless there's more of you. I'm gonna go to New York for the next one. This I th there are two explanations here. Both of them are incredibly stupid. We're going to go through them as we do the story. They're both incredibly stupid. The only thing I don't believe here is this was sinister. I just believe it was stupid. <sighs> New York PD gives all clear after pressure cooker frat found on path causes Oculus station evacuation. New York. Police department gave it all clear after its bomb squad investigated a pressure cooker found on the last car of a PATH train from Newark uh, Tuesday, law enforcement said. According to the Port Authority, the uh, report of a suspic suspicious package at the uh, World Trade Center PATH station. Great location there, yeah. Uh, came in around 2.14 p.m. The train was in the station for more than an hour before it was found. Um, Serves in temporarily suspended from Hoboken to World Trade Center. Um, so two things hap could have happened here. The first and probably the most obvious is someone thought they were doing a prank bro or they were trying to be intimidating. Because I don't know if people are, what the deal with a pressure cooker? Okay, Boston Marathon bombing. It was a, a no. It happened in New York too. Oh yeah, it's, it's a pressure cooker. Somebody left like five pressure cooker bombs all over New York too. New York's a little antsy about that kind of shit. Pressure cooker filled with shrapnel. Boom! Terrible shit yeah. happens. So, either someone was trying to be cute and or evil. Either that or. Some incredibly stupid motherfucker took a pressure cooker on the train. I think there's a third option. Okay, what's the third one? There was a potluck at the office that day. And you took your dish into work, whatever you made. Everyone ate it. And then you washed it in the office kitchen, went to cart at home, and forgot it. Shit, yeah. Yeah, that 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 like track. This could just be random error. Or didn't clean it out. I mean, maybe there was like chicken and cheese and rice in there. I don't know. It's maybe a, they got a meal. It's it's goddamn bizarre what modern we have to be cautious of a fucking pressure cooker. Yeah. The goddamn hell, man. It's a, and shoes. And drinks in bottles. Shoot. Like, okay, okay. The, 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 ain't nobody, ain't nobody brought no liquid goddamn explosive. Never. It's never happened. Never been a liquid explosive ever. They have not found one on the, if the TSA had ever found someone trying to bring some kind of liquid explosive onto the plane, they would never shut the fuck up about it. They they would they would remind you of that because that one dude had a bomb in his shoe and they never shut the fuck up about that one. And yet still, I forget where I was flying home from, but wherever it was, they had tall boys of Pepsi. And I bought a tall boy of Pepsi and I forgot that I had it in the little side pocket of my carry on and they took it from me. Oh, I'm sorry. They were like, you can chug it right now. And I'm like. I don't think anybody wants me to just chug a tall boy of Pepsi and then get on a plane. That's <laughs> a terrible idea for me and everyone. So we've often had stories on here about people who do not understand the point of 911. 
we finally have one where the person involved did in fact understand the point of 911. Just this is probably the stupidest I have ever seen this in my life. Trio busted with 83 pounds of cannabis after calling 911 on themselves. Aw, honey. Now you're sitting there going, was it a butt dial or was it? Oh, no. <sighs> Breezewood, Pennsylvania, a trio of men from New York are behind bars after police said they tried to hide 83 pounds of marijuana behind a dumpster after one of the men called 911. State troopers out of Bedford responded to a 911 hang up at the Marathon gas station. One of the men, later discovered to be 30 year old uh, Sakwi Wang of Flushing, New York, allegedly called 911 and said there were people in his car with marijuana and he wanted them to get out, but they refused. On arrival, troopers said two men, 20-year-old uh, Ji Ming Yang and 29-year-old De Ho Yu, both from Flushing, were seen standing near duffel bags in the parking lot. Men reportedly gave troopers permission to search the duffel bags, because what else the fuck are you going to do? And marijuana in vacuum-sealed bags was found. Troopers reported they found five trash bags heading behind a dumpster containing 83 pounds, estimated street value of $300,000. Gang, the driver, was contracted and contacted and agreed to meet with troopers at the barracks. After reportedly getting conflicting stories from all three men, search warrant was approved for Yang's car. Search warrant probably uh, results in another $120,000 in counterfeit money being found in multiple duffel bags. Yang was charged with forgery and possession with intent to deliver. Yu and Wang were charged with possession and intent to deliver. I'm very confused. Yes. Why did you call 911 on your own car full of drugs and counterfeit money? Like, were you trying to bust your friends? I, like, was this like a power move? Was this a deal? And you're like, no, man, no, man, I'll call the fucking cops on you. You watch. Also, like, why did the troopers have to contact him and bring him in? I guess he probably left. Why I get. There's a lot of details missing. There's here. a lot of details missing here, but oh, it's it. If you are in the crime, you are like they found his car. It wasn't like he was like, oh, shit, there's drugs in here. I'm getting the fuck rid of it. No, no. He was still tooling around. With 120 grand in counterfeit cash. He was right in the middle of this shit. Yeah. If you were doing the crime, do not involve officers of the law. It's their job to stop you from doing your job, which is crime. See, it's a circle of life kind of thing. You, you 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 don't invite them into your shit. I'm just so confused I, as to why. Dumb. It's like just just the weird perception of how things are expected to work versus the reality of how they actually work. The gulf there is so stunning. You wouldn't expect it. You think people would be like, oh, I understand how things work. No, no. There's like. You would think at the base level that people would understand I am doing crime. I should not call the cops. Because I am doing crime. I guess they figure that. And yet. They figure the cops are going to be like, yeah, they're, they're going to fix it. They'll fix it. They'll, fix it. They're, they're, they'll help. Because I was the one who called them. Well, maybe them, they see? think it's like the perfect cover. Like, I wouldn't call you guys if I was doing crime. But you're forgetting how many people are just so stupid. Yep. 
last two this week are just like we're we going like we're going like ham the last two um this is just so many lawsuits i can't even count the lawsuits that this next story involves everyone is getting sued everyone this woman is going to be rich iowa funeral a woman thought dead found alive at Ankeny Funeral Home. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Staff, staff the Central Iowa uh, Funeral Home was surprised when a woman who was believed to be dead turned out to be alive. Fucking bet they were. The fire department told uh, KCCI its crews were called to the uh, Ankeny Funeral Home and crematory on West 1st Street. Fire Department of First Responders were initially called for cardiac arrest incident. The crew determined the patient was not in cardiac arrest and began to treat the patient before they were taken to a hospital. The patient's current condition is unknown. They would not comment further, further but the uh, KCCI obtained scanner audio that gives more detail. A, fire, a first responder can be heard saying, just so you know, this female was transported there deceased and she is not. They're in the chapel, and she's on a cot. So, they were at the funeral home. Has she bitten anybody? No. Has she bitten anybody? I, 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 I think if that had happened, we would have very different stories this week, Tara. Because this was three days ago. All right, I, I think we would know about it by now. Maybe. It's fucking Iowa. Do they even have the internet there? <laughs> it's just corn. No, this is this is some fucking paramedic. Or worse, some coroner. Like, they found this woman. They presumed she... Nobody... The nursing home staff just said, like, well, oh, she did. Come get her. And they like, did. didn't take vitals? And she, and she weren't dead. You remember the show Heroes, right? Yes. That was really good for like one season and then just went right off a cliff. Yeah. <laughs> you remember the scene? <coughs> Excuse me. There's the cheerleader who's like indestructible. She's basically Wolverine, but she's a cheerleader. And they think like she like dies. So they bring her in and she this this kid, she wakes up like mid autopsy. Like opened up with her organs and she there's a scene like the, the scene is literally she has to like put all her fucking organs back in and seal herself up and then like shuffle out of there before they come back in. So at least they didn't get to that point, I guess. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. All of the lawsuits. This yeah. one lady is going to own half the town. Nash, it's 28 days later, not three days later. See? They, 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 they're going to give, she's going to get her own fire engine. <laughs> she's still so late. She's going to drive to the, the fucking Piggly Wiggly in a goddamn fire truck. <laughs> Can you even imagine? <sighs> like she's like you imagine like you pass out or something and you wake up in the fucking funeral home. Right. You would think you'd wake up in the hospital, but oh, no, they're like, you know what? Let's right. just let's just skip to the chase here. You know, like there's a there's a dude with a hose full of formaldehyde coming at your ass. Jesus Christ. It's Iowa, she'll own the whole state. Yes, Transwarp, yes. That's just... <laughs> but I mean, it's Iowa. It's Iowa, yeah. I mean... Worth, like, $5,000, maybe? We, I, either that or, like, you know, maybe, like, four or five decks of Pokemon cards, maybe. Yeah. I, I don't know what, the, what the, the going rate is right now, so... Apparently, it depends on the card. <laughs> the last one is... The balls on these motherfuckers. Holy shit. We haven't had a good chutzpah story in a while. This is, this is all of the chutzpah. Like, you're like, 
you watch those old like Indiana Jones shit. You think about like tomb robbers. They're like they're, they're like smugglers. They're like they're the whole networks of people with it. Let's call these fellas ambitious. Egypt foils plot to steal 10 ton statue of Ramses II. Suspects are accused of attempting to steal a statue of Ramses II from the ancient southern city of Aswan. Uh, Egyptian authorities have arrested three people for trying to steal a millennia old 10 ton statue of Pharaoh Ramses II. Defendants were caught in a quarry south of the city of Aswan with manual digging equipment and a crane. It gets better. It gets better. They're suspected of planning to lift the Colossus out of the ground to excavate antiquities in the area. Um, prosecutor said adding it had ordered three def defendants held in custody for four days pending investigations. Um, an investigation of the suspect's mobile phones revealed they had sent video clips of digging operations and of what appear to be ancient statues via social messaging apps. <laughs> I mean, I was going to say, have you not seen the mummy? <laughs> But they didn't have Facebook in the moment. <laughs> I mean, like Brendan Fraser couldn't post selfies with Imhotep. I, I, I can just imagine the investigators being like, no fucking way. No fucking way. Come it's, on now. No it's on Facebook. You're shitting me. No fu oh my God, it is. Oh shit. Also like, what were you going to do if you got it? Who are you going to sell the fucker to? Where do you fence something like that? What did? did <laughs> what, was the, what was phase two of the plan? I get, you know what? You know, I, I, I think I just realized what phase two of the plan was. Elon. Hmm. You saw Glass Onion, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so dumb. Or... Maybe they were just trying to end the fucking world. Don't fuck with these maybe things. Maybe they have seen the maybe they have seen the mummy. And they're like, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck this shit. Yeah. Let's just dig up some fuckers and oh. see what happens. Arkle says, who do these guys think they are? The British Museum? Oh. <laughs> oh. It's funny because it's true. <laughs> You only get to just steal shit if you're rich white people. Right. I, 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 the, the sheer audacity of the, you putting it on Facebook. Come on now. Yeah. Come on now. What in the world? <laughs> Jimmy Jones marked himself safe from Plague of Locusts. Well, good. But how were you getting it? Where were you taking it? Were you going to flatbed the motherfucker out of the, out of the, you know, on a highway or some shit? You're going to airlift the motherfucker? What the fuck? I mean, like, that's going to get noticed. Do you think they ain't going to let you through customs with that? They're going to be like, I think this exceeds your carry on limit. <laughs> I'm just, we'll have to put it on the scale to be sure. Yeah. Wow. Ten. Thank uh, God Brandon Fraser is in the middle of a comeback. True. Yeah. We, we, we're going to need him. Send him over there. God damn it. Just out there with a just as if like we're gonna we're just gonna take this fucking thing and like digging by hand. Yeah, this is coming home with us. Just who's gonna stop us? Jeez, I feel like this is the equivalent of trying to run off with the statue of Abraham Lincoln in Washington D.C. <laughs> 
like just five guys with little chisels and hammers out there like, no, no, we got this. Got this. Get get the pickup. <laughs> Not gonna work, man. <laughs> All right. So well, the, the first thing we learned this week. You you can't just you you can't just leave this you can't just steal fucking ancient antiquities. You're gonna incur it's the fine. wrath of somebody. But you have to be a white person who's important enough to have one of those little white wigs. With well, e even then, even even like with the Hobby Lot, they were like stealing like tiles and they were smuggling them inside of other shit. They weren't just like. Picking up a crane and you can't be that audacious about it. Come on, little little stealth, little fucking Facebook. What the fuck? Um, we've learned that job one of issuing a death certificate is check for a goddamn pulse. That's first step one. Step one. It's like I you think you'd know this one, but We've learned that if you are in the middle of crime, do not involve the police in any part of it. I feel like we've learned that one a lot of times. They, they are not. We got to learn that one a lot. They, they, they this, they're not arbiters. They're not going to take your side. No, it's it's. We've learned maybe don't leave your pressure cooker on the train. Please. You're going to give someone a heart attack. We've learned that if you want, if you were already under surveillance by law enforcement, going out and committing 14 crimes is probably pretty stupid. Like, yeah, the anklet's not for Wi-Fi. <laughs> You're not a hot spot now. <laughs> this is not what it is. I'm sorry. That would be cool. But that's not what it's for. And finally, we've learned whenever you uh, it, it expose AI to humans, it's not the uprising you have to worry about. It's just them becoming incredibly racist. It's like the first thing they do every single goddamn time. You notice that worry you a little bit. None of them are like kill all humans. They're all like saying the N word and shit. Yeah. Like I've been worried about Skynet this whole time. And apparently I'm worried about the wrong thing. You know, you like know, Skynet isn't going to like kill all humans. Skynet's going to decide start a race war and let the humans kill each other. You know, it's it's everybody's like you should be worried about your job the robots are going to take your job if you're like at mcdonald's or something they ain't got to worry you know who's got to worry jordan peterson 